Hi there, uh, this is Nico of our I Design Cars from Local Motors uh, and I'm just going to give you guys a rough tutorial on how to use the Illustrator files and how to kind of use Illustrator in general. Um, Illustrator is a vector graphics program and it's a lot different from uh, Photoshop. You, you draw with Illustrator or Illustrate. Uh, you don't really paint uh, the way you do in Photoshop. Photoshop uses pixels uh, and it basically changes the colors of pixels in order to create uh, more of what is known as a painting. Uh, whereas Illustrator actually uses very complex mathematics to uh, calculate lines and curves which in the end gives you an illustration. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you the basics of Illustrator quickly uh, and, and just to help you get started. Uh, the, the main tool of Illustrator, the kind of the king of all tools, is the pen tool of Illustrator. You'll see the toolbar over here. Um, there's a lot of tools in it, but the, really the one that you want to know about is a pen tool. And that's this one here, or uh, it's about four down from the top. And you can access it by pressing the P uh, on your keyboard. The, what the pen tool is, is, is it creates points, uh, and one, the more points you create, they're connected by lines and this is how you create an illustration. So to show you how this is done, uh, I'm just going to create a point there and then I'm going to create another point here, another point here, and another one here. And you can see that I have created uh, four points and the points are linked and I have created a line. Um, you can also see what looks like this white fill here and that's because down here we have these two little boxes which are similar to Photoshop but different. The one that has a hole in it is the stroke line and the one that has the is solid is your fill. So the stroke here is black uh, and the fill is white. Uh, if I deselect the line you can see a very thin black line and the white fill. Now I'm going to delete this to show you another point. I'm going to turn off fill and the way you can turn off your fill is by selecting this kind of, you see this line with a, or this box with a red line through it. So I'm going to hit that and you can see that gets bigger here. It means you have no fill and I'm just going to maintain the stroke. So, uh, and I'm also going to make my stroke a little thicker and there's a box over here that is your your, your stroke parameters and so I'm going to make the stroke uh, six points because that way you'll be able to see it. The file I'm working on as you can see is the Rally Fighter template and since that's the actual size of the Rally Fighter this is a pretty huge file so a stroke of one is not going to be very visible on it. So uh, I'm going to make I'm going to show you something else. The way you make curves in Illustrator is similar to how I just made that line but a little bit different. So I'm going to make a point and then I'm going to make another point here but I'm going to keep the mouse button clicked down and I'm going to drag. And you see as I drag you see these two little handles that come out. These are called handles and you see the line that curves. This is what controls your curves. Uh, these little handles here. So uh, I'm going to do that again over here. Click and drag here and then I'm going to do one, oh, let's just say up here. I'm going to click and drag and you can see I can move the farthest handle around and change the dynamics of the curve, right? So I'm just dragging that handle there. So let's, I'll just stop right about there for example. And then I'm going to click off. Now I can, if I select this tool, this is the uh, selection tool, I can move, uh, this shape anywhere I want on the canvas. But if I uh, select this one here, which is the direct selection tool, it's a little bit different, I can select just the points that I want to select. So here I selected just this point, just a square little box. And you can see that this point is related to this point and that's why you see the handle here. And with the direct selection tool, it's cool because I can select this handle again and change the curve again if I don't like it. So uh, you can kind of also do that in the pen tool 
if you go back into the pen tool, there are a couple options. If you hold the option key down or the alt key on a PC, you can come in and you can grab these handles and you can move just one half of the handle. So I can have a shape like that. Uh, so I can kind of split that, that handle and actually have a, a pretty sharp angle, as you can see. Now, I don't want that, so I'm just going to con control Z or Apple Z uh, that and, and kind of uh, get rid of it. But the, the pen tool uh, has a lot, of op a lot of those little options. You can um, hold the option key down and select the anchors, get rid of the handle altogether. Uh, you just play around with kind of the the control and the alt key and uh, you'll be able to uh, basically kind of learn what each one does. And now we want to get to the real fun part about learning how to use Illustrator and that is of course so you can make custom car skins and maybe win some money. Uh, I'm just going to show you basically how to make a really simple design and keep in mind when you're doing your designs for the custom car skins they can be very, very simple. Just a couple colors, a couple positions of lines, and and that's all you really need. I mean, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Think about it this way. Most cars are one or maybe two colors, but very rarely more, more than that, and their paint schemes are very simple. Uh, generally, you have one solid color on the body, and then maybe on the guards around the wheels, you have a matte black or another body color. But in general, their design is really simple. And the Rally Fighter with the vinyl, it allows you a lot of freedom in the design. But you still want to keep it somewhat simple. Not just two colors or something. You can do more than that. But having a simple graphic look to it will really, really help in making the Rally Fighter look great. So here I have a couple layers. Uh, layer 4 and Layer 3 are in the middle of the template. Uh, and they're both visible right now. They have nothing on them, and you can tell that because there's not this gray little arrow here. I'm going to make a simple design, and so I have a gray uh, for the fill, and I have a red stroke. I don't want the red stroke, so I'm going to cancel that. There we go, and there's the gray. So I'm going to draw just a basic shape for the gray uh, right here, and I have it kind of curve, and then curve up right there, curve down curve up and then come off here down there we go so that'll be one side and then I'll choose another color let's maybe I'll do a red all right so that changed that changed that shape because I had that shape selected let's go back uh, and I'm just going to unselect that shape really quick boom go back to the pen tool and I'm going to make a red fill behind it so this is actually going to go over it and I'll move the layer behind it later there we go so I'm going to go back to the layer now you see the gray arrow and I can just drag this below it and there you have it. From here I can make clipping masks. Um, so the first thing to do in a clipping mask is you're going to have to duplicate your design multiple times. So since my design is simple I'm going to select the two layers and so I, I shift selected both of the layers and I'm going to right click on just one of them and I'm going to say group. Uh, group. There we go. And you can see over here in layers, it turned it into a group. Now, I'm going to duplicate this about 10 times so that we have one layer per panel. So I'm just drop it, drag it and drop it. So that should be enough. So now I'm going to come up and make a clipping mask. Now, I'm going to turn all of these un layers underneath off. That way, I kind of see what I'm doing. Otherwise, it doesn't look like you did anything. I'm going to select this group here. Click on the circle. I'm going to select the door. I'm going to start with the door. Select that line here. Come up to object and then come down to clipping mask and make. And there you go. So that's your first one. So I'll do a couple more here. I'll show the hood. This part here. With the clipping mask. Or with the fill, sorry. Clipping mask, make. 
foot, I'll do the same thing. Shift select those. And you can see piece by piece, you can start getting your design. And then when you go to the visualization of each of them, uh, when you do the clipping mask, it brings it up into here. And that's where you start seeing them. So there's the hood. There's the, and wherever panel you worked on, you'll see there's the door, etc. So I hope that helped. And that is kind of the basics. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Aurel or myself. And I hope this helped just a little bit. There are plenty of other tutorials out there on the internet. I will try and find some and post them in a forum for you. Um, and good luck with your custom car skins challenge. And again, feel free to contact Oral or myself at any time. Hope you've enjoyed this and have a great time. Bye-bye.